Hello friends, this is Dr. Ashwarya Kaushik and today we will be uh, having a short discussion on one of the cases that I uh, did in my practice. This is a case which was diagnosed as an acute apical abscess, guys. 15-year-old um, uh, uh, patient in 10th standard, she gave a history of sustaining trauma, all right? Sustaining trauma about five to six years back in the region of the upper front teeth. All right, I'll share my screen so that we can all look at the pre-op x-ray. Uh, yeah. So guys, this is the pre-op x-ray. All right, now the patient has come with a history of severe pain since about two weeks. Now, history of trauma was there five years back. And since then, till about two weeks, uh, from the time of presentation, there was absolutely no pain. The patient was asymptomatic. Yes, she had a um, fracture of the incisal edge, which was not exposing the pulp. Right, guys? So at the time of injury, what is the diagnosis, guys? Let's just um, work out how we reach the correct diagnosis. Number one thing, at the time of injury, the patient, see, the patient presently is... 15 years old, right? History of trauma, five years back, right? And you have exposure of enamel and dentine. The enamel and dentine are fractured. So obviously at the time of injury, the diagnosis would have been Ellie's class two fracture. That's number one thing, guys. Now, the patient did not go to any doctor because she really did not have any significant pain as far as she can remember, all right? Now, presently, number one, the patient is in acute pain, right? On clinical examination, there was severe tenderness to percussion. So, there is acute pain, severe tenderness to percussion, all right? Then the crown presently is discolored, guys. The crown is discolored, which is indicative of a necrotic tooth, all right? Next important point, guys, is that uh, on uh, pulpal sensitivity tests, that is your EPT and your cold test, both are telling us that it, they are negative. So we reach a clinical diagnosis of number one, a necrotic tooth, number one, right? That's number one thing. Second, there is severe tenderness on percussion. So there is a symptomatic apical periodontitis, right guys? Next important point, because the tooth is necrotic and it has sustained trauma, so presently our diagnosis would be Ellie's, any traumatic injury which is causing a necrotic tooth is what? Ellie's class 4 fracture, isn't it? Ellie's type 4 injury, isn't it guys? Right? Next important point guys is uh, based on that, we did access cavity prep and the moment we opened the access cavity, there was frank discharge of pus. Abscess was drained. All right. Frank discharge of pus. So there was frank discharge of pus. So basically now the diagnosis is acute alveolar abscess, guys. Acute alveolar Abscess. So this is how, guys, we make we reach our diagnosis, right? It's an acute alveolar abscess, and this is how we reach our clinical diagnosis. The treatment is simple: you do your access cavity prep, you do your cleaning and shaping, you ensure that the canal is dry at the time of uh, giving a intracanal medicament. So we gave intracanal medicament of calcium hydroxide, right, for a week, right? 
and then we repeated because it's a chronic case so we repeated another you know a creamy mix of intragenal medicament of calcium hydroxide for another one week right and then we obturated with cold lateral compaction using ah plus sealer so we did cleaning and shaping the technique that i used was a you can say a hybrid technique in which initially i would use a rotary system for rotary nitai files were used for orifice enlargement right guys and then subsequently uh working length determination working length determination was done right then uh the pical preparation and then step back so it's basically step back but because i incorporated the use of um, modern techniques modern night eye techniques so i would call it a hybrid technique right and then finally uh, in between we did uh, calcium hydroxide intracanal we used intracanal medicament and then we did the obturation with lateral condensation technique right sealer we used was ah plus guys ah plus sealer was used right guys so that's how the obturation looks like you can see appreciate the nice radio opacity ah plus sealer has got great radio opacity guys right so that was the case for today thank you and best wishes Thank you.